Hi there. Um, there's a little video on parallax in the parsec. I know some of you have done this already, but I think it's a tricky subject. So we thought it was better to go back, start right at the beginning of stars. And I'm just going to do something I didn't do last time. So we're just going to do a little um, imaginary experiment to the mo for the moment. We just ask ourselves the question, we're stuck in our houses. Uh, quite an appropriate idea at the moment. And what we're going to try and do is this is a window and I'm looking out the window and I'm imagining I've made some measurements, um, some angles and some distances to this to find the distance to this tree. Because I'm not allowed out to just run a tape measure to it. So what we're going to imagine is that I've chosen two points to look out through the window. So it's quite a big window and that's three metres um, between those two points. Um, and what I've done is I've judged um, using a protractor um, sort of sighting that um, this tree is 10 degrees from the normal to the window here and 10 degrees there. Um, so we could build a non right angle triangle, but we want to know the distance of the tree. So it's easier just to say, look, here's a, a right angle triangle. I know this distance is 1.5 metres and the distance to the tree is there. Um, the Z angles rule means that that angle there is 10 degrees. Um, so what we can say is that um, the tan of that 10 degrees is equal to the opposite over um, the adjacent, which is D. So D is equal to, well, let's just pause the video. You can um, work out what D is. Right, okay, let me just check that for you. Um, so D is equal to 1.5 over tan 10. Okay, so 1.5 tan. There's basically the distance to the tree the two significant figures is 8.5 metres. And that is roughly how we go about measuring the distance to stars. It's the idea that we make two measurements from a baseline, then we can, um, and we get an ang some angle information, then from that we can deduce the distance to the object. Got a more extreme example here, just to show you, because we don't, we're encouraging you not to use trigonometry um, for these things. So again, let's imagine that we've measured, we've looked out of the window and measured um, an angle to this very, very distant tree. And we get that the angle, um, I don't know, between the two is 0 0.8 degrees. And we want to find the distance to that tree. Now we could create a right angle triangle, angle 0 0.4 degrees. But we can actually make a really good approximation. And then when we get right down to the parallax stuff, it won't even be an approximation um, as, to, as to, to that distance. Because I think we can accept that, that the length of that line there is almost exactly the same as the length of the line drawn normal to the window to the tree. So we're actually looking at a tiny segment of a circle. Um, this here is L, the arc length. That larger distance there is R. So we can just use theta equals L over R. And to do this, you're going to need to do two things. First of all, you're going to have to convert um, 0 0.8 degrees into radians. And then you're going to have to go, then you're going to have to find R. So pause the video and do that just to make sure you're keeping up. So... R is going to be equal to L over theta, which of course is exactly the same as uh, L times 1 over theta. You'll see where I'm going with this in a moment. Theta is 0 0.8, and then to make it into radians, we multiply by pi uh, and we divide by 180. So we flip that over and we get 3 times 180 over 0 0.8 pi 
stick that in the old calculator. Uh, three times 180. And on the bottom, 0.8 times shift pi. Okay, so we're saying that the distance out to our tree is to two significant figures, 210 meters. Okay. Um, and before we go out to, to the astronomical, I'll just say this very briefly again. We can divide one degree into 60 minutes. Why? I don't know, but it was a, considered a convenient system. And we can divide one minute into 60 seconds. And the vital thing in astronomy is to understand that when our parallax angle is one second, then that is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. And that's really all you need to know about um, the mysterious second. If you just remember one second is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. OK, so what have we got here? Um, well, I've drawn quite a lot just to save save time on the upload, really. We need me to draw in a nearby star that we're interested in. OK, there's our nearby star. And here's the Earth going round the sun. And we're going to Im imagine an equilateral triangle there. So this is one astronomical unit, and that's the distance from the Earth to the sun, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 metres, both the same distance from the sun. And if we if this is 60 degrees, in other words, we've waited six months, that distance there is one astronomical unit as well. Um, and that's our baseline. That's like the three metres in the previous examples. And then we, in this case, we judge the angles relative to the background stars. OK, ridiculously exaggerated here. This would be a much narrower triangle than on my last sheet of paper so when the earth moves one astronomical unit if this distance to one star r is equal to one parsec okay this angle here is one second which is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree and what we want i want you to do now is to use theta equals L over R to find out um, what R is. So I'll just pause the video while you do that. You need to, I'm going to wait before you pause, convert that into radian so you know the, theta. Uh, you know um, L, so you know you should be able to work out R. Pause the video and see if you can get that. Right, obviously I'll now do it for you. So just like before, theta is... 1 over 3,600, and we've got to multi divide that by pi, but multiply by, um, no, multiply by pi over 180. Um, going back to here, r is going to be equal to L over theta. So it's 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters multiplied by one over that 3,600 times 180. And that's all over pi. OK, fingers crossed. The answer should be three times 10 to the 16 meters. So 1.5 x 11 times 3,600 times 180 divided by shift pi well, that was a bit stupid wasn't it shift pi equals and there you go that's one parsec always gets the same answer um finally it's worth seeing that um because this is such a small angle and the way it's all going to line up that there's a, a there's an inverse proportionality the parallax angle 
is inversely proportional to the distance to the object okay and in fact we can say the distance to a star is one over theta measured in seconds so if d so if theta is equal to 0 0.1 seconds then the distance to the star is one over 0 0.1 10 parsecs there in pc like that thank you